Welcome, I'm Juan Molina, DG Shape Dental Product Manager. Today, I have a special guest, Greg Everett from Dention. He will be going over a few tips and tricks that he's found in the field to help you. Greg, welcome. Thank you, Juan. Appreciate you having me come out. Um, yeah, today we're going to go over a, uh, a very common uh, maintenance item that comes up and, uh, and it's often overlooked by the end user. Um, and that's going to be the, uh, the care, and, care and feeding of your collet in your DWX device. Thank you. Let's get started. To do this, you're going to need some alcohol, some cotton swabs, a lint-free cloth, your official roll in grease, a uh, calibration pin, and a uh, uh, collet wrench. So under the maintenance tab in vPanel, you're going to select your open collet. The machine will move to that position. After it's in that position, we're going to go ahead, go ahead and remove the collet. Now, depending on which spindle your machine is equipped with, you'll be able to select from two different styles of wrench. Uh, this this is going to be used on the older type of machine. That's going to be call it or uh, spindle ZS4D, and this is the new style of wrench that's included with the uh, uh, DWS52D pluses. Um, okay, so for so this machine is a uh, is a, a newer model, so we're going to use this 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 tool. And so all you're going to do is you're going to come in here, get up under the collet, engage with it, and we're just going to pull it out. Pretty pretty straightforward. Now, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tip if you do have an older machine, um, it's very, very important to support the inside of the collet as you're removing it. Um, that way you can avoid uh, break, breaking it or damaging it. Okay, so we've got a, a spindle out of the machine for ease of uh, instruction here, but once you've got your collet clean and, uh, and, and lubricated, we're going to draw our attention to the machine itself. It doesn't make any sense to clean the collet if the spindle is also dirty. So the spindle or the, uh, the collet will uh, ride on this inside tapered surface on the spindle. And so we, we're going to want to clean that up too. So what we're going to do is take your lint-free cloth and a cotton swab or something similar. Put the lint-free cloth over it so that we don't introduce any sort of lint or, or other debris inside this while we clean it. We're going to saturate it with isopropyl alcohol. And then we're going to come in just, just like that and clean the inside of the spindle. And now in the machine, you're doing it like this. We're going to take it out, and then we're going to repeat that process until it comes out clean. Once it comes out clean, we're ready to go ahead and go back to the machine and install the collet. Once everything's clean, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the collet. The first thing you do is come up here and just thread it. Make sure you feel that it's threading smoothly. And you're just going to take it until it, until it stops. And then we're going to come in with our collet tightening tool. Now with the new style spindle, um, they include a torque wrench. So this will tighten the collet to the exact torque that it's supposed to be tightened to. When properly torqued, we're gonna bring ourselves back over to V-Panel and hit the, uh, the OK button. And then we're gonna tell it to go to the closed collet position. Hit OK. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate your time. As usual, you're an awesome partner of Rolling. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. This is meant to help you keep your machine up and running and minimize any issues in the field. Thank you once again, and have a great day. Thank you again for joining us for this Tech Buzz Tip Tuesday. If you have suggestions for a future Tip Tuesday, please email us at dental at rollandga.com.